Well, I think that, that first of all, I don't think that there were a lot of people lining up to go to Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we had read a, um, a Frank Devine and I, uh, who was my uh, first associate producer on the floor, had uh, had given me, a, I think, an article about Chernobyl, or I asked him about Chernobyl. What, what you know? Could we go there? What, what would they let us in? What could we see? And he gave me this article about the about the um, something called the zone, which was this area that they had shut off, and we were surprised to find out that people went inside, that they were still operating three of the four or two of the four power plants that were there, um, and by shuffling people in and out. So we said, can we get permission to, to go? I ran, ran it by my producer in uh, London at the time, Bill McClure, who had a, uh, uh, a young woman producer in her 30s, unmarried but of childbearing age, who was not crazy about going in, but did all the medical research and said, yeah, we could do this, you know, there's nothing to, nothing to stop us from going in and we could do it safely. So we just started finding, trying to find ways to, uh, to get permission to go. But I, I, like I said, I think that it wasn't like they were, everybody wanted yeah. to go. And why did you return in uh, 1994? Um, trying to remember exactly why we did. We went back, um, they had built this thing on top of the, the facility called the sarcophagus. And we were told that we could probably get inside the sarcophagus for a short period of time and that the sarcophagus was starting to fall apart, starting to leak water, that we're gonna to have to come up with some other kind of a solution. And we thought that it would be an interesting time to go back and take another look at it, uh, you know, five years later. And it was just sort of a, uh, an update.